All right, so we're looking at Frankie's Fairgram for fourth grade uh, Bridges Math, and we're basically looking at uh, this girl named Frankie who's finding math everywhere in her world, and we're going to help her solve these problems. So 24 tickets, and each ticket costs 25 cents. So we're basically looking at multiplication here, and I just want to give you a hint here, and I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I would highly recommend that you try to do doubling and halving for this and do it twice and see what happens to this problem if you try doubling and halving twice i think you're going to be very pleased with what happens when you do that number two we might spend some more time on this one so there's a rectangular platform and that is an area of 324 yards squared or square yards one dimension is nine yards so basically we're looking at this. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot these estimates. So to estimate, I'm thinking it's gonna be, first of all, our regular equation is gonna be 324 divided by nine. And to estimate, well, if I did 300 divided by 10, it's gonna be somewhere around 30, approximately. So two ways we're going about this. One is uh, ratio tables or area models. So why don't I start you with both methods and you can decide which one you're going to want. <clears throat> uh, I would probably jump up to 90 there and I'm going to go to 180 and then I think I'm going to just um, do that next and you're just going to keep going until this becomes 324 and again it's going to be a little bit more than 30 it looks like. So that's that. Now, if you do the area model, I think what you're going to need to do is draw a few rectangles to get to your point. So you could, you could possibly just jump ahead. So I could straight go from 9 to 30 and giving me 270. And then how much more do I need? Um, I need, let's see, 324 minus 270. I need 54 more. So can you think of... 9 times what is 54? <clears throat> and once you figure that out, you've got your answer there as well. Um, yeah. And then I forgot to do this estimate back here. Let's check that real quick. If you did 25 times 20, it's going to be 500. And it's probably going to be more than that. But anyways, just make a quick estimate there. Here, uh, we have a roller coaster on a large rectangular area. Like so, and the first thing I'm thinking after I have this is, are they looking for the perimeter or are they looking for the area? So let's see, uh, how much space does the roller coaster take up in square yards? That means area, it's looking for the area. So for my estimate, I'm just thinking <clears throat> 100 times 90, and that's gonna give me 9,000 square yards, about. <clears throat> but once I see this right here, I'm thinking, what method do you think when you see this 99? I'm thinking the over method is the best way to go here. So I'd start with something like this and I'll let you figure out the rest <clears throat> as you go, but that's how I would solve that personally. Okay, and then down here we've got a chart. It's been a while since we did the metric system, so we, let's review. Um, this chart has told you the basic measurements here on top. But let's just have a look at a meter stick real quick. Let me pop one in here. Okay, so there we've got one meter. <clears throat> and just a reminder, a centimeter is when you chop this into 100 pieces. You might connect that to the word century, 100 years, or um, cents, like 100 cents in a dollar. But centi is chopping it into 100 pieces. The one we might uh, need to review is decimeters. And you might connect that DEC to decade or 10 years, but a decimeter is one tenth. So for example, this meter stick, if I chopped it into 10 pieces, that would be a decimeter and each one is gonna be 10 centimeters, as you can see on the chart. And speaking of the chart, we can also use this to help us figure it out. So by the way, you don't need to fill in this section here. Just use this chart to help you with A, B, C, and D. Okay, how many centimeters are in 45 meters? 
Okay, start by thinking what happens to go from one meter to centimeters that looks like times 100. So 45 meters times 100 would give you how many centimeters there are in 45 meters. <clears throat> okay, how many meters are in 45 kilometers? So let me do this one in a different color. So now I have meters in kilometers and to go from kilometers to meters, it looks like it is times 1,000, right? So here I need 45 kilometers times 1,000 is going to give me how many meters are in 45 kilometers. And then the next we're doing how many meters are in 800 centimeters. <clears throat> so to go from 100 centimeters to one meter, what do we could do? 100 divided by 100 equals one meter. So here you need to do 800 <clears throat> divided by 100 to get that part. And then the final one for the challenge, we have decimeters in 40 kilometers. So uh, let's see, let me get some more space. One kilometer is 10,000 decimeters. So I think we need to do 40 times 10,000 to figure that one out. And that is your homework help for tonight. And thank you and goodbye.